Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be making 6 glam bathroom DIYs. These are all very easy and inexpensive to make. Let's go ahead and get started. For my first DIY I'm going to be glamming up this soap pump that I bought at Walmart and I'm going to begin by adding some mirror mosaic tiles to it. Now I'm going to be adding this rhinestone chain along the top and bottom of the mirror mosaic tiles. Once I cut my chain to size, I'm going to be using E6000 to glue them on. I used my finger to remove any excess glue before it dried. Now I'm going to be using this brooch. This brooch comes with a little pin on the back that I will be removing with some pliers. So that, that way it lays flat on my soap pump when I glue it on. To glue it on I will just be using some hot glue. For my second DIY I am going to begin by using two of these candlesticks from Dollar Tree and I am going to decorate them with some mirror mosaic tiles. Now I am going to be adding some rhinestone chain on the top and bottom of the mirror mosaic tiles. After I finish decorating my two candle holders, I am going to be using these empty candle jar containers and I am going to glue one on top of each candle holder. I am using E6000 to glue them together and I am making sure they are centered. I have a video on how to easily clean candle jar containers, I'll be linking it down below in case you're interested. Now I am going to be gluing these crystal knobs to the center of my lids. After I finish gluing everything down, I let my glue completely dry before continuing to work on my project. To add more bling and also to hide the logo of my lid, I am going to be adding some rhinestone chain around the knob. I first apply the glue on the lid and then I wrap the rhinestone chain around. The chain tends to want to go on its side as you're wrapping it around so you want to be careful and make sure that it stays facing up. Once I finished covering up the logo, I cut the chain and I glued the end down, and then I wiped off the excess glue before it dried. Now I'm going to be adding a strip of mirror mosaic tiles along the side of the lid. I am going to be adding a brooch to each container and I am going to remove the pin on the back with some pliers. And I am going to be using hot glue to glue them on. I use these containers to store cutting rounds and q-tips. For my third DIY I'm going to be using one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree and I am going to begin by decorating it with some mirror mosaic tiles. Then I am going to glue the rhinestone chain along the top and bottom of the mirror mosaic tiles. Now I am going to glue this brooch to my candle holder, but this time I am not going to remove the pin on the back since the design of the candle holder doesn't let the brooch lie flat.
Now I'm going to be using E6000 to glue this soap dish that I bought at Dollar Tree to the top of my candle holder. For my fourth DIY, I'm going to be decorating this white hand towel that I bought at Walmart with some of this bling wrap. I cut my bling wrap into two strips that I will be gluing on my towel with some E6000 glue. Once I finished gluing down my strips, I set that aside to dry and began working on this bath towel that I also bought at Walmart. For my bath towel, I also added two strips, but I went with the thickest strip on the top and a thinner strip on the bottom and I also glued that on with E6000. Once I finished gluing that on, I let my glue completely dry. For my fifth DIY, I'm going to be adding these two strips of the diamond ribbon to this white shower curtain that I bought at Walmart. And this time I am going to be sewing my ribbon to my curtain. You could also glue it on with some E6000 if you wanted to. I am just going to carefully be sewing along the top and bottom of the ribbon. If you're worried about your ribbon not going in a straight line, you can always measure and pin it down. I decided not to and just to eyeball my design. For my last DIY, I'm going to be using these wooden planks that I bought at Dollar Tree to make a square flower base. I am just hot gluing my pieces together and taking off any excess glue with my finger. I am using a low temperature glue gun for this. Now I'm going to be using this rhinestone sheet to decorate my flower box and I am going to be cutting it to size and hot gluing it onto my box. Once I finished covering that up, I added a brooch to the front of my box. To hold my flowers in place, I used a piece of this floral foam that I bought at Dollar Tree and placed it inside of my box. I am going to be using these flowers that I bought at Walmart for $3. They were on clearance and I am going to be trimming them down and arranging them inside of my flower box. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.